From a smartphone market perspective, you're really starting to see adoption mature. The typical S-curve in technology is growth accelerates at 20%, slows at 50%. We're approaching that 50% adoption rate this year. And so the smartphone market slowed. Uh, that was disappointing over the, over the past year. But we still expect to see product cycles along the way driven by innovation. Later this year, we expect what we call a super cycle for the iPhone, which is driven by improved battery life, wireless charging, likely new software in the area of AI and virtual reality. That's gonna accelerate upgrades. So the installed base will upgrade faster and also drive switchers from, from the Android platform. That said, that's a product cycle. Over the long run, we still expect low single digit growth for the smartphone market, where the value will really come going forward is companies who can monetize increased usage of smartphone users. This is through services like payments, music, video, gaming. That market has accelerated over the last year, because even though device shipments aren't growing, the installed base has grown, and the amount of time people spend on their smartphones is accelerating that growth in, in services. And so we think over the long run, that's what companies need to do to maintain growth, because yes, there will be product cycles for smartphones, uh, but, but those will, will, will come and go.